Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use our new extra header block. So when would you use this extra header? You would use this block if you want a different header on your homepage than on your internal pages. With this block you can add as many headers as you want, so you can add as many navigation menus. So first thing I'm going to scroll down and here in extra drag out the extra header. If you continue designing, it's really handy if you guys hide this block, okay? So if, whenever you have to go back to it, just click on extra header so you hide and show it right so i'm going to drag out the layout blocks and i'm going to get rid of this one as i said before so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one extra header that is going to be completely different than the one that i have here so whenever we see this in wordpress you can tell the difference all right okay so click on this box and add max width and to make it completely different i'm going to set the logo on top of the menu okay let's bring out a logo so there's an image and i'm just going to use one of our other logos from other templates and also let's center it here you have to add the menu navbar. All the elements that you want in the new extra header, you should place them inside this yellow container. Don't worry about this color because it will completely disappear once we export this into WordPress. And now this is the time where we do that. So I've already installed the theme and it's here in the WordPress customizer where you will select where you want to show each header. Okay. So right now we have our main header, but let's go to customize. And here you see that we have extra header one. If you add more extra headers, you'll see under it extra header two, three, four, and so on, as many headers have you've added. So let's go into extra header one. And here is where you select where you want to show this extra header. Where you want to show it, you have to publish and then close the customizer to see it. Um, I actually want to place this extra header one inside the internal pages, just to show you what I mean. I'm going to select to show it here in home page. So I'm just going to click on, click on publish. As you see, nothing has changed yet. But once I close it, you'll see how the extra header pops up. Okay, going back to the customizer. So what I want is this extra header to show in all internal pages. All right, so just click on publish. Remember, see nothing, nothing happens and then just close it. So right now we're back to our main header. So I'm just going to open a sample page. Let's visit this and see how we have this header over here. Okay. So this is our extra header. Also, have you noticed that the menu is completely different? So here in the customizer, you can also select the menu locations. So here in menus, you will select menu one, menu two. You can create different menus from here. And also here is where you display the locations. All right. So let's style this menu. Let's go to menu styles and scroll down. First thing is I'm going to align it center. Change the font family, let's say, so it will look a bit different. These colors just don't look good at all. So I think the text color, I'll get something like this. Text background, leave it like that. Submenu text color. Also, let's leave it like this. Submenu text background, text color hover. Just going to pick random colors. Just won't make that much sense. Wait, I'm going to change the text color hover down there and this background hover just make it different something like this okay if you're done just click on publish and close the customizer so if i click on home 
we're back to our main header. But if I go back to sample page three, then we have this menu in all our internal pages, okay? So that's all. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any tutorial. See you guys next time.